Hey guys, my name is David, and you are watching Stories Told. Today, I am going to explain a thriller movie, called, The Hidden Face. Please be aware, the video contains spoilers. The movie starts with our main character, Adrian, who is an orchestra conductor. He receives a video message from his girlfriend, called Bellin, and tells him that she still loves him but she can't carry on with him, so she is leaving. She asks him to not come after her. Adrian becomes heartbroken by this message. He then goes to a bar to have a few drinks in order to numb the pain and forget about her beloved Bellin. He gets so drunk that he gets into a fight in the parking lot with a random guy. The guy's girlfriend stops the fight and drives away when the bartender girl, called Fabiana, comes to his rescue and makes an offer to call him a taxi. He declines the offer so the girl brings him over to her house. They have a good time in the car as Adrian conducts the music playing form the radio. And they sure continue to have fun at her place. Adrian wakes up and he doesn't know where he is. Fabiana asks him what happened the previous night, why was he so miserable, but Adrian stays silent. He quickly drinks his coffee and leaves in a hurry without saying goodbye to her. After this, Adrian holds a class, but ends it in the middle of practice as he gets too distracted from his work. At the same night, he goes to the same bar to apologize to Fabiana. She forgives him for leaving in the morning without saying a word. He brings her to the theater which he works at, to make up for the previous night. They hit it off instantly and they develop a romantic relationship over time. Fabiana spends a night at Adrian's place and wakes up in the morning, earlier than Adrian. In the bathroom, she starts hearing noises from the drain, so she decides to look around at Adrian's mansion. She starts to get suspicious as she finds shoe design drawings on a table, which clearly belongs to someone else. Adrian catches her looking at the drawings and asks her to have breakfast in order to distract her from the drawings. They sit outside and Fabiana asks him why he lives in the middle of nowhere instead of the city. He answers that he needs peace in order to fulfill his creative desires. Two detectives come to his house to ask about his missing ex-girlfriend. Their name is Francesco and Bernardo. We learn that Bellin disappeared without trace and the police is looking for her. They start searching the house, as the primary suspect in Bellin's disappearance is Adrian. They ask questions about Bellin. He shows the detectives the workstation she left there. The detectives start looking around in the garden, which makes Adrian frustrated, as he thinks they suspect him killing her and burying her outside. Adrian believes that Bellin just ran away with another man to start a new life somewhere else. He also tells Fabiana that he tried to contact Bellin's family but got no answer from anyone. At night, Adrian plays the piano, but Fabiana invites him to go to bed with her. While Fabiana takes a bath, she hears the sound again from the drain and notices that the water is moving, even though she is completely still. She jumps out the bath and runs to Adrian. The lights go out when the lightning strikes, but Adrian calms her down again and tells her it happens every time when there is a storm outside. They are about to do the adult stuff, when she asks him to take the dog out of the room, as it bothers her. We switch to the next night, where Fabiana is at work again. She is having a conversation with his friend about Adrian. The friend turns out to be one of the detectives that visited the mansion before, named Bernardo. He finds it strange and suspicious that they started dating immediately after Belen's disappearance. She tells him that Belen left and Adrian has nothing to do with her disappearance. We also learn that Bernardo and Fabiana used to date back then. Adrian has a big concert where he introduces Fabiana to the orchestra manager, called Tito. Tito tells Adrian that they will never forget him as we learn that Adrian plans to leave his job soon. While Fabiana is having a nice shower, the water turns so hot that it burns her skin. She gets out to check the burn in the mirror when she starts to hear the noise again from the bathroom sink. Hans the dog scares her as she is already on edge. She finds a hidden key in the floor while she is jumping around in Adrian's bedroom. She puts the key around her neck and starts wearing it as a necklace. The storm causes the lights to go out again. She constantly thinks that someone is in the house besides her. She starts looking around the house to find the alleged intruder. Hans scares her once again, she tumbles over the piano chair and hits her head into the piano. She faints but Adrian finds her. He brings her painkillers and a glass of water. Fabiana shares that she doesn't feel comfortable being by herself in the mansion. Adrian assures her that nothing bad is going to happen, he thinks that it was only bad luck with the lights going out and Hans scaring her. She tells him her theory about the noises that she hears in the bathroom. She believes that the mansion is haunted and a ghost is present. Adrian laughs at this idea, he doesn't think Fabiana's concerns are real. Adrian thinks it's only the wind that blows between the pipes. Fabiana remains curious about what is really happening in the house. Adrian must leave as he got a call from one of the detectives. 
They found a body that resembles Bellin and he has to identify her. Adrian and the detectives visit the morgue to see the body of a young lady. Adrian tells them it is not Bellin, even though the pathologist told them that it's impossible to identify the body because her whole body is damaged by fire. Adrian drives home and as he gets inside, he hears Fabiana saying, sorry, to someone upstairs. He confronts her about this, asking who she is talking to while in the bathroom. Fabiana says she was just looking for a book and deflects the question. Adrian tells Fabiana that Bellin isn't in his life anymore. They hug when the camera zooms on the mirror, and we see Bellin, in a ghost-like form. We get a throwback of Adrian and Bellin biking in the sunset. The next scene, they are having a nice dinner at home, where Adrian tells her he got his dream job. For his job in Bogota, he must leave in 15 days, for about a year. Adrian asks Bellin to join him and move to Bogota together. Bellin hesitates but agrees to go with him. He performs for the first time in Bogota and Bellin is amused by his talent. She starts looking for him after the concert and finds him talking to a violinist called Veronica. It raises concerns and she thinks Adrian might have an affair with Veronica. The house that they decide to rent is in the middle of nowhere. It is owned by a German lady who is going back to Berlin, so she decides to rent out the place with one condition to look after her dog, Hans. Adrian and Bellin move into the mansion. They spend the first days happily in the new house. Her suspicion that Adrian is cheating on her re-emerge, when she catches Adrian and Veronica having a private chat, accompanied with whiskey in his office. While Adrian is showering, Bellin goes through his phone and finds messages between the two of them. Bellin asks him about his relationship with Veronica, and confronts him about the texts and calls she found. Adrian confesses that he has been flirting with Veronica but nothing more happened. She wants him to fire Veronica from the orchestra but Adrian denies his girlfriend's request and leaves for work. Bellin is having a conversation with the German lady, she is curious what would Adrian do if she would die or go missing. The lady tells her that she should act on this idea to find out if Adrian really loves her. The lady shows Bellin a secret room which they built in order to hide her husband in case someone came to look for him. The room itself is self-contained and sealed off from sound. There is a one-way see-through glass, where she can see everything happening on the other side. There is a speaker in the room, so every conversation from outside can be heard. The lady leaves the mansion and tells her she is going to call her when she gets to Berlin. On the lady's suggestion, Bellin decides to record the video and head into the shelter room, to find out what Adrian does if she goes missing. She is packing her stuff to make the story of leaving more believable, when Adrian suddenly arrives home. She grabs her stuff in a hurry, but the key to the shelter falls into the vent unnoticed. She heads inside and locks the door on herself. She observes Adrian's reaction to the video. She is happy, because he seems heartbroken. When she wants to get out of the room to reunite with Adrian, she realizes that she didn't bring the key with her, so she is trapped in the room. She starts hitting the glass and screaming for Adrian to help her. The room being completely soundproof makes her scream inaudible for Adrian. Her phone has no signal in the room. In desperation, she even tries to unlock the door with the house's other keys. She then starts bashing the glass with a chair, but it has no use. Adrian brings the video that Bellin left to the police in order to find out where she went. Meanwhile, Bellin desperately wants to get out of the room. She checks every corner of the room, when she finds the late husband's uniform in a closet. She proceeds to read a journal and finds out that the lady's husband used to be an SS officer during World War II. She finds a can opener and starts craving a hole in one of the walls. Her effort was close to useless. He finds old canned food inside one of the drawers. He tastes it but the canned food is already spoiled. She tries to wash the taste out with the water from the tap, but the water is brown due to the old pipes. Despite this, it is enough for her to survive for a while. Later, Adrian watches the video one last time and tells her all the best. He goes to the bathroom later, when Bellin hits one of the pipes in anger. She realizes that the water in the sink moved when she hit the pipes. She starts desperately hitting the pipes to bring Adrian's attention to the water. Adrian isn't noticing the water moving, so Bellin proceeds to carve the wall. The dynamo light breaks, so she has to spend her time in the darkness form now on. She hears a noise and goes to one of the mirrors, where she sees Adrian bringing Fabiana to the house for the first time. She completely collapses as she watches Adrian and Fabiana doing adult stuff. She tries to hide in the corner to protect herself from seeing it, but the speakers keep on playing the sounds of nature. We switch to the morning, when Fabiana started hearing noises from the drain. It was Bellin screaming for help. She goes back to carve the wall, when she finds out that a thick metal plate is behind the concrete wall. She does everything in her power to get noticed, that's why she started messing with the water temperature when Fabiana was taking a shower. 
Belen sees that Fabiana found the lost key to the room, so she starts banging on the mirrors to get her attention. Fabiana ignores this once again, as she can't hear her. We see the scene where Adrian gets a phone call to identify a body. After he leaves, Fabiana looks into the mirror and smiles as she believes Belen is dead. Fabiana purposely fills the bathroom sink with water to test if the water will move again when she asks questions. She says to start and stop while watching the water moving. She realizes that someone or something is trying to communicate with her through the water. Fabiana asks a bunch of questions in order to find out who is doing all this stuff, that's when she makes sure that is really Belen behind the walls. She asks Belen if she is trapped somewhere and she soon realizes that Belen is alive behind the walls. Fabiana finds the secret door and Belen finally sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Fabiana inserts the key, but suddenly stops and hesitates. She takes out the key, without opening the lock. She decides to keep Belen locked up, so she can be the only woman in Adrian's life. We see the scene again where Fabiana was saying sorry to someone and Adrian asked her about it. Belen cries in agony, as she sees Fabiana hugging Adrian. One day, Detective Bernardo threatens Adrian in a parking lot. He tells him he is going to end his life if something happens with Fabiana. Fabiana is tormented about the events took place lately. When she gets home from work, she starts asking Belen to make sure that she is okay, but she gets no answer. She feels extremely guilty for not letting Belen out when she first got the chance. Fabiana relocates their belongings to another room so that Belen won't be able to see them through the mirrors. Adrian gets a little upset that Fabiana relocated their room without asking him first. In the morning, Detective Bernardo comes to the house and hands Fabiana photos, which shows Adrian having an affair with the violinist Veronica. Parallel to this event happening, Adrian breaks things off at work with Veronica. Fabiana becomes devastated. Because of this, Fabiana makes the big decision to let Belen out of the hidden room. Meanwhile, Adrian is performing a concert, so he has no idea about what's happening at his own house. The doors open and Fabiana gets in the room in order to find Belen. Belen is seemingly sleeping, so Fabiana wakes her up by shouting her name. Belen suddenly opens her eyes and smashes a bottle on Fabiana's head. She manages to knock her out and grab the keys for the room. She rushes out and closes the door, trapping Fabiana inside. Belen leaves the key in the bedroom, so Adrian could figure out what happened. She also leaves him a picture on the mirror, which shows the two of them together. At the end of the movie, we see Belen sitting at the beach, finally finding peace. The camera cuts for one more second to the hidden room, where we see Fabiana hitting the glass. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.